I find Bridge very good for sorting and browsing images for almost any project. But raw files are my main task, sorting them into those images I want to keep and those I don't. But I'm pretty careful with this. When you're deleting images, there's always a danger that we may delete an image by mistake or delete an image now that sometime later we may see quite a bit of merit in, and that's happened to me a few times. In this batch of images, I was taking lots of slow shutter speed images of surfers for an audiovisual presentation. I was using a long telephoto lens and continuous shooting, hence the number of images that I've got. It's those ones that I know I'm not going to use that I wish to remove. Now within a folder of raw images that I'm reviewing here, I'm going to create one called red. If you look over the left hand side to the file tree, you can see the highlighted folder is called surfers. But I'm going to go to the top right of the screen here, click to create a new folder. I'm just going to call this red and enter. And the reason I'm going to call it red will become evident shortly. Within Bridge, we have an option called Labels, where one of four coloured labels can be applied to a thumbnail with a press of the number keys 6, 7, 8 and 9. So I've increased the size of the thumbnails using the slider down at the bottom right, just to make them big enough for me to see fairly clearly as thumbnails. And I'm going to select the first of them. Now this image doesn't look too bad. What I'm looking for is for the surfer to be in a nice position and also for plenty of movement in the water. A little bit of highlight detail there may be lost, but maybe not. We'll look at that later. I'm certainly not sure at this stage. So what I'm going to do here is to give a touch to the cursor control keys, just the arrow to the right. I want to retain this image for a while and the one after that. When I click to the right again, it jumps down to the next row. This one I'm not keen on, so I'm going to hit the number six key to apply a red label. This image, red label, and so on. This one I think I'm going to use, so I'm going to scroll down. Not too keen on that one, not too keen on that one, that one, or that one. Now you can see how this is going to work. That's not going to work, but that looks pretty good. Not too sure about that one. This one definitely not. And what we would do is to continue all the way down and we would knock out any of the images we knew we was definitely not going to use. Now, once we've completed all of the images, we're going to have quite a lot of red labeled thumbnails. If we go to the top right of the screen, we can now ask Bridge to just show the labeled items. So now all I can see is the red labelled images. There would be a lot more than this if I continued all the way down. But now using either shift click or control A to select all of those, I can just drag them into that folder I called red. I think I missed it. Let's try again. Got it. Now when I click into red you can see that the images are there. The reason I retain these in a red folder is I treat this a bit like the bin on my desktop. Now I retain that red folder for quite some time, certainly a number of weeks, sometimes it's months before I get back and have one last look. But of course, once I'm confident that I really don't need these images, then I can just drag them in the bin and they're gone. Let's just assume while we're going through those red flagged images for the last time, I see one like this one where I think maybe I can get a picture from this. If I crop just above the rocks, then maybe I have deleted this one or moved it into my red folder when I should have retained it. All we need to do then is to highlight the image. If we touch the number six key again, the red flag is removed. Now I can just click, drag and drop and drop it back into my surfers. 
Now coming back into my main surfer folder, of course if we don't have the number of images that I have here, we may work in reverse in as much as we select the images we want to retain. So let's just take a look at those other number keys. If I select this image and it was OK but not something I would like to keep, skip to the next, this one's got a very nice position. So if I wanted to keep that, I'm going to touch the number 8 key. And as you can see, I get a green label. The next one I'll select, and the next one is pretty good too, and so is the next one. So I could go through all of these and just label those that I want to retain. And then we will do exactly the same as we did with the red label. We can sort them and just show those labels and transfer them to another folder. But we do have a couple of other colours that you may want to use. So 6, 7, 8 and 9 are the keys. The number 7 key will give us a yellow label and the number 9 key will give us a blue label. Now one last option that I never use but I feel the need to show you. Whenever we highlight an image you'll see a batch of stars appear. So if you want to use star ratings instead of coloured labels, you can do so because you can either select them just with a click. So there we've got three stars. If I select this one, we could make that five stars. But you can also do this with the number keys because those will be applied through one, two, three, four. And there I've just hit the five key. Now, although I don't use the star rating system myself personally, I can see some good advantages to it because when we go to the sort options at the top of the screen, we do have a few more options because we can sort into any one of the five star options. Now, in the next video, we're going to take a look at collections. That's something else that I use almost all the time. Until then, see you next time.